This Space Maker video is going to get into some modeling techniques to try and generate something similar to what we have here on the screen. Uh, what you will notice is these actually have highlighted edges and that's because I have joined the units. So what's cool here if you want to group or join, you can right click or just uh, break up join units and that's what you might see but to get them all as, as one I will just select those, make sure I've got them all selected and then right click and join as one unit and now you should have them all joined as one unit no, if not, just undo grab that and join as one unit and now we have uh, one singular item which we can move around as as needed so I'll just go to a clean option here and show you some of the workflows to generate something similar. So I'm going to use a line editor building, keep this pretty simple, go into 2D mode and I'll just draw a line from point A to point B. So just pretty simple uh, 90 and I'll just finish up uh, there. And we now have a linear building, building uh, maybe a mini version of the line here. And we'll make this uh, six stories and we'll keep the width the 12 and then the distance we have here, which is 16. You know, we can crank that up maybe. Um, this is kind of a, a, a helpful tool. We can put that on four and we can offset the building. So perhaps to speed things up, um, for what we want to do, we can break this up. It's probably not necessary though, we're going to be doing a lot of copy and paste um, to, to do it. But this is just a, a nice little little starting point here. So once that's done, we can uh, convert that to a polygon building. And then you're going to get the ability to do a couple of things here where you can grab each point or you can grab the face. So I'll just do this slowly if I want to extrude that face. I'll select on it. You, you'll notice... Uh, when I go and select up here, it's grabbing the whole building. Or when I go and grab here, it's just grabbing individual floor plates. So here, if I click it once, this little node will come up and I'll click on it. And if I want to extend it out four meters, I can type four and it will do, this, do that. Again, if I choose on this face, if I want to uh, retract it four meters, it will do that as well. So these are just simple little tools for controlling the faces of the geometry. Now, if I want to get in and actually look at the uh, edges of the geometry, you can start to do this here. So I want, I want to get that edge and then drag that back eight to give us a bit of an angle here. So you can start to do things like this. It, of course, will snap to other components. You could um, grab the entire floor plate here. And again, as you're pulling this out, I can also um, do this in any angle I want but let's say I want to um, go out say 8 meters and then tab at a 15 degree angle we can start to potentially uh, do that and it looks like we just do that again I'll just do yeah so sorry you can uh, drag it or you can just type in that amount there so simple geometry for laying out that uh, particular design so I'll just get rid of these ones and not the um, building there in the background. Let's get rid of that for now. Um, a few other things you can do here. Um, there are potentially um, uh, other tools to divide up. Um, sorry, let's divide up the site. Sorry. Here um, we can start to um, edit this uh, with this draw wall tool so here we can start to break this up a little bit should you want to so there's a couple of tools here just got to double click that and then that will bring up your draw wall tool is it not liking me one more time and I'm probably clicking a little bit too fast
Okay, so that's sort of being a bit more prescriptive. So I haven't got too much into this one, but that, that's another feature as well. I need to master that one. Um, getting into what we want to do here for the particular design. So if I just go down to uh, the basics here, sort of do that, that, and that. And then with those selected, um, what I can do is grab the, that edge there. For example, look at that selected. Got to go a little bit slow here. It is cloud tech. Make that one four. And maybe this one here. Again, go slow. Bring it out. And I'm just going to make sure that that's lining up with the guidelines there. So I've got that. And then now I want to array this around the site. So you can hold down uh, shift. To grab both of them if you hold down control it grabs uh control tends to grab everything so if you want to grab them individually you hold down shift um here i don't want to edit it now i want to copy this around so i can go to uh, move or i can go duplicate and move and when i go duplicate and move i'll choose that as my base point i won't be moving it in a x y direction i'm going to tab to go to the next level and hit uh, six, and that will move it up uh, six meters. Um, there are other tools in there, so you can uh, duplicate and move, and there were um, other features, so you've got the um, uh, items above ground level or items above sea level, but um, I haven't really done too much on those, um, but you know, above ground level, again, might be another 12, and that, that works as well. So that's how you quickly uh, start to do these. And then here, I can grab them all, join as one unit, and now I have them uh, grouped. And I can also um, grab these and duplicate and move around the, the site. I could also grab these and gonna first of all, duplicate and move and then I can rotate these so here I can grab that point that point and then bring them around say 180 and of course move these to the the right location on the site and you can see it's actually dropping down because I've grabbed the uh, the wrong point so I want to make sure that I grab the base point here and then keep it at the right right level and it might tell me if there's some errors down here with the geometry I think there was something showing up before that they were crashing in with each other um, so that's that's pretty much it it's pretty basic um, one other thing to look at here um, let's say I grab um, this bit of geometry and I'll just um, split into stories and I'll just uh, break up join units um, one thing here, like let's say I grab that roof face and I take it up, say, 16 meters. You could also look at grabbing that and then splitting it into stories as well. So you could work with very much a massing environment where you might want to start off with just a basic polygon building here. Again, I could be doing you know something like this where I want to be working at an 18 by 18 oops 18 got to finish the command make sure it's looking decent here we go square and I'll just keep that as like a, a trapezoid now we can work with these ones I will just leave it at the sea level and you could potentially tab down here and make it six stories so um Number of tools here, probably the one I haven't gone into too much today is just, just mastering this draw walls tool. I'll have to have a, look, a little more of a look at it um, and uh, understand it for another tutorial. But um, for anybody wanting to do something interesting inside of uh, Space Maker, here's how you can start um, getting into a bit more fidelity with your design. And uh, hopefully as we develop it, we'll have curves and other interesting shapes to work with.